The ribbon is the primary way that we access our commands. By default, the tools in the ribbon are organized in a very generic way, such that AutoCAD can be used for a wide range of tasks. The nice thing is, this ribbon is fully customizable. This means you can set up your own interface from scratch that places all of the tools that you use most with an easy reach. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to customize the ribbon by creating our own tabs and panels. Now, let me mention that I have a drawing open on screen. You do not have to open this same drawing. I am only using this as a background such that we're not working with a completely empty interface. All right, to start our customization, let's talk about the current workspace. As you can see, I am using the 2D drafting and annotation workspace. If I click this flyout, you can see that there are other workspaces available. Now, the workspace is what dictates the ribbon that we see on screen. And I'm someone who doesn't like to modify the stock workspace, so I'm going to make my own. To do that, I'll come down and click Save Current As. And I'll call my workspace Jeff's Workspace. You can use your own name if you like. And I'll click Save. Essentially, I've just created a copy of the stock 2D workspace. Now, to make changes to the ribbon, I'm going to come up and select the Manage tab, and then I'll select CUI. This brings up the customizable user interface. Right here on the left, I can see a listing of all of the workspaces. Just below in the tree, there's an entry called Ribbon. I'm going to click the plus to open this. And beneath Ribbon, there are entries called Tabs and Panels. That is what a ribbon is made up from. Let me drag this down. The tabs are what we see along the top. Tabs are very similar to drawers in a toolbox. And the panels represent collections of tools. You will find the panels on each tab. Let's drag this back up. I'm going to click the plus next to tabs, and I can see a listing of all of the tabs that are available in AutoCAD. Certainly more tabs than what we see on the current ribbon. Let's add a tab to our current workspace. To do that, I'll select my workspace from the list. I'll come over to the right and click Customize Workspace. Notice all of my text turns blue when I'm in the editing state. If I click the plus next to Ribbon Tabs, I can see the tabs that are associated with my current ribbon. Over here on the left, there are checks that represent which tabs are in my ribbon. To add a tab, I will place a check in the box. This adds it to my workspace. I will click Done, and then I'll click OK. Notice that my workspace now has a Render tab. And if I select this, I can see that the tab is preloaded with all of the standard panels. Using this workflow, I can add or remove any tab from any ribbon. Now let's try and create our own tab. To do that, I'm going to press the space bar to re-enter the CUI command. I will open up the Ribbon entry. I will open up the Tabs entry. And then I'm going to right-click on Tabs and select New Tab. And at the very bottom of the Tabs list, I will find my new tab. I'm going to call this Custom, and I'll press Enter. Knowing what we know now, let's add this new tab to our current workspace. Once again, I will drag this slider up. I will select my workspace and click Customize. I will then drag this down and find my tab. I will select it, and then I'll click OK. I now have another tab in my ribbon. If I select this custom tab, you can see it's not very exciting. There aren't any panels associated with this tab. Let's take care of that. Once again, I'm going to go back into the CUI command by pressing the space bar. Let's open up the ribbon entry. I'm going to open up the tabs entry, and I'll drag this down. And then I'll open up panels. And then I'll drag this up. Now, if you want to add a panel or a collection of tools to a ribbon tab, all you have to do is drag and drop. For instance, if I wanted to add the Annotate Dimensions panel to my tab, I will click, hold, and drag, and I'll place it on the tab. Let's add this text panel. Click, hold, and drag, and place it on the tab. Now, here's where it gets a little weird. If I want a panel that's quite a distance down in this list, say the Mesh Crease panel, I will click, hold and drag, and then I have to keep an eye out for my tab. Here it comes, there it is. Let me release on top of the tab. If you'd like to remove a panel from your tab, you can simply right-click on it and select Remove. 
I'd like to keep mine as it is, so I'll come down and click OK. Let's select the custom tab and you can see the three panels that I added. Let's try and create our own panel. Once again, I'm going to re-enter the CUI command. I'll do that by pressing the space bar. I'll open up the ribbon entry and I'll open up tabs and panels. To create my own custom panel, I will right click on the word panels and select new panel. And all the way at the bottom of the list, I can find my new panel. I'm going to call this my favorites and I'll press enter. Now to add commands or tools to a panel, we will drag them from this list below. This list represents every available command in AutoCAD. As an example, I'm going to drag the layer off command. I'll click, hold and drag, and as I drag this across the border here, watch how my list jumps. That can be a little bit annoying. Let me drag this up. I've got to drag it down a little bit. Like I said, it can be very annoying. I'm just going to release and say, forget it. Let's drag this back up and I'll show you a different way to drag. I'm going to click, hold and drag to the left, then up and then back over. Now we don't have to worry about the panning. I'm going to drop this on row one. And if we look right over here, there's the command. Let's drag another command. I'm going to select the make objects layer current command. I'll drag this over, up, and across and I'll drop this on row one. I'd like to add another command. Let's add eTransmit. That one's one of my favorites. To find eTransmit in the list, I could drag up and down alphabetically or I could just start typing eTransmit. And notice how AutoCAD will sort the list for me. I'll drag this command over, up and across. There we go. Let me click to close up row one. Maybe I'd like to create a second row. To do that, I'll right click on row one and select new row. And then I will take row two. I'll click, hold, and drag this up. I'd like to be tidy. I'm going to keep row one and two together. I'll come down and click this X to clear my command list filter. And let's drag a couple more commands up. I'll drag three points over and I'll place that on my panel. 3D adjust distance. And I'll do a 3D constrained orbit. There we go. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to close up my panel. Now I have to add the panel to my custom tab. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag this up. And I'll place this on my custom tab. When I'm finished, I'll click OK. And when I select the custom tab, you can see the three panels that I brought in, the stock panels, as well as my favorites panel, the one I created from scratch that contains my favorite tools. Now, if these truly are your favorite commands, don't think that they have to be relegated to a specific tab. If you want these on your screen all the time, you can simply click, hold and drag on the panel name and you can drop the panel out here in model space. Now it will be available regardless of the tab that's current on the ribbon. Now that I'm finished making changes to my workspace, I'm going to click this fly out. I'll come down and select save current as. I will select my workspace from the list and I'll click Save. And then I'll click Replace to overwrite the original. This means that if I go to the flyout and select 2D Drafting and Annotation, I am back to the stock ribbon. Click the flyout again, and I'll select my custom workspace, and I've got my own customized ribbon containing my own tabs and panels. As you can see, AutoCAD makes it very easy to make changes to the ribbon interface. With a little practice, you can set up a custom interface that has all of your favorite tools with an easy reach.